So excited to try the cow saw hot pot, y'all. This is a self-heating hot pot. No electricity needed. And I think that's awesome. This is a product of Thailand. And um, it's vegan. So these are the directions. So we got to see what's in this thing, y'all. Taking the lid off of here. And we have a couple of different things going on here. I actually thought, I didn't think this was vegan because of the cover where so you could put meat in it, chicken or steak or something like that, y'all. So that's the self-heating bag that's going to heat this up for us. And so let's get into what's in here. We have some noodles. These are instant noodles. That's the heating bag. So we got the noodles going in. And that's the, I put that, it was some crumbs of noodles. I put the extra crumbs in there. That's the seasoning powder. Actually, there's one ingredient. I don't know what that is. So those little balls right there, I don't know what it is because one of them was, that's the chili paste. And before that must have been the cow soy powder. And then... We got one more thing to put in here, y'all, and that is the that is the coconut powder, which should be coming up next here. Coconut powder, and then we have to fill it up to the top line with room temperature water. And then I just gave it a quick stir. Just trying to break up all the seasonings and that chili paste. And then we have to get into the self-heating bag here. So I wasn't sure the instructions were, it was easier than I thought. So we had to actually open this up. See, I wasn't sure if we had to open that up or not. And then we have to cover this with room temperature water. It says do not use hot boiling water and instantly y'all it was crazy i love science so instantly it started heating up and bubbling and i was like wow i think stuff like this is so amazing so to cover it up here and my son and i were just like We were like, wow, look at that. <laughs> it was more of the sound. So it was bubbling and bubbling and bubbling. So we had to do this for eight minutes, y'all. And I was just so amazed and impressed that this thing was bubbling like this. I never had anything like this before. Look at the steam, y'all. And I'm looking at the steam. But... That's not true. There was a coffee that came like this, and it was self-heating, but I don't think they make them any longer. It was really hot, y'all. Very hot to the touch. So, first I was like, did it cook? Because it was doing some major bubbling. So, yeah, y'all, it cooked. It cooked, y'all. And it was still bubbling. And 
And so I'm just showing you how it's still bubbling after I took that off, which was very hot, and I don't recommend doing that. Now, anywho, super hot. We're going in. My son wanted some as well. I gave him some already. Y'all, this was more sweet than I had liked it, so it's tight. So... Now, the heat had kicked up, too, so it was very, very spicy, but seemed like more sweet than spicy. So, I guess I would rather have it more spicy. And then also, the addition of maybe some seafood, like some shrimp or like some beef or some chicken, that probably would have been really, really good, y'all. But I would give this, flavor-wise... I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. But as far as amazement and science and commands, you can take this on a go. You can be anywhere with this, y'all. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 for that because I'm super impressed with that. I give it more than a 10 out of 10. I give it a 20 out of 10 if we could do that, y'all. So I'm impressed with that, but... I just didn't care for how sweet it was. And I'm not sure what those little balls were. So, because I still do not see that on the ingredients. And this this was around $14 on Amazon. I just had to get it. I look up weird foods to try all the time. And I thought this would be a good one, y'all.